Our next stop is the second largest city in Bavaria, a city with a fascinating history, most directly as a result of what happened in World War II. This is an optional Viking shore excursion called Nuremberg and World War II. It delivers a glimpse of the dramatic stage on which the Third Reich rose and fell as we immerse ourselves in Nuremberg's World War II history. The city is best known as both the seat of Nazi propaganda and as the place of punishment for Nazi war criminals. In 1933, Hitler declared Nuremberg the city of Nazi party rallies, and construction began on monumental buildings for the party's mass meetings that covers about 11 square kilometres. Six Nazi party rallies were held here between 1933 and 1938. The Zeppelin Grandstand was planned by Hitler's chief architect, Albert Speer, and was based on the Permagon Altar. Over 100,000 people saluted Hitler from right across here in some of the scariest propaganda videos of the era. Now, perpetuity and monumentality were the key principles of the architecture used by the National Socialist Party to impress, to intimidate, and to apply a type of discipline to the people here that just guaranteed the support of the whole nation when it came to this particular cause. The Monumental Congress Hall next to the Duxentite Lake was built as a special building for party congress. It's the largest surviving relic of dictatorial architecture of the Third Reich. The Congress Hall is a fascinating place to discover. Here you can contemplate the extent of Nazi propaganda for visitors who come here, what's the, the general feedback you get? Mostly common response is the, the very impressive, yeah. um, very important site. It's um, a need for everybody to know about the Nazi past. And these um, Nazi party rallies uh, were mass events. The, the most important fact about the uh, former uh, Congress um, hall is that it never was completed. The building work stopped yeah. because of the war. We hope that visitors leave here with the with a new a kind of knowledge. We hope they um, are able to question more today's politics. The tour continues to courtroom 600 in the Palace of Justice, the venue of the Nazi war trials that captured the world's attention. Well, this is a pretty impressive room. It's still a practicing law room today. It's still a court? Yes, it is still a functioning courtroom. You're right. Wow. What people always do not know is that this place actually has a hundred year long history with so many different periods. Um, the most famous one today is the one of the end of the Second World War. The Nuremberg Trials. The Nuremberg Trials. Most people only know the 21 major Nazi criminals who were put on trial here in the International Military Tribunal the first Nuremberg trial, but actually there were follow-up trials as well, 12 of them in total, and overall there were almost 200 people in front of trials here. One of Viking's goals with all of the excursions and tour options they provide their guests is to enrich their knowledge, making the whole experience more meaningful. And there wouldn't be a better example than this particular one. This is troubling, it's enlightening, it's poignant, all at once, and it's left me with memories I'll never forget.